Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Uh, trying to regroup here this morning. Yesterday, yesterday was a was just a, a bizarre day because I had such a good trade in that TSRO, <clears throat> and it really just pushed completely back, and. I just wasn't focused enough yesterday, and to be honest with you, I'm, I was tired. Um, Scalp the CELG later for 15 minutes, said you could do the same thing with the TSRO, <laughs> but overall yesterday could have been so much better than it was for me, and a shorter day. Today I'm forced to have a short day, which I actually don't think is a bad, is a bad thing. I really think the fast trades are the best. And that trade I called in TSR was fast. Lows didn't work, which was not a big deal. We missed HTZ. But I really would like to get more participation from the regular room members in here with ideas in the morning. Some of you give me ideas now and then, but I'd say 95% of you don't. And there is just sometimes my scanner doesn't get everything. Or there's things that happen at night that don't get picked up by the scanner in the morning. <laughs> and we missed HTZ yesterday and it was the fastest mover out of the gate. I mean, there's nothing we can do, but I had a poor exit on TSRO. I mean, to have that stock move $2, I just wasn't focused. Um, so today I'm very focused because I have to close the room early. We must do a quick trade. I'm gonna be on TV in two places today. And it's a very busy day because everyone is discussing the market. It's, it's a hot topic. It's big news. I did not expect us to fall like we did yesterday. Um, today isn't that big of a deal. I did think we'd hold yesterday, but we were in a very weird area. And any, any news now is going to create scaredness in the market. Um, I still think the market's higher. I'm not going to worry about that today, and I don't think we need to worry about that today. Um, I don't think the play is long. I think the play is short. I do like MNST, though, and I do like PDCO. And the problem is that this is very spready and down a lot. Um, and I'm just trying to decide which one we're going to watch first or maybe two. Eric, I do the equity trades. If you want to do an option, you have to look at it yourself and decide. This is really going to. Let's watch two things just to make sure we get we get something. Um, I'm going to watch MNST and PDCO at the same time just in case this pushes back. Although I must be honest with you, Dubod's pointed out about the other week. To be honest with you, I, I have amnesia. I don't even think about those things, and it wouldn't set me off from doing this today. It's just there is quite a lot to look at today, and I want to make sure we get the fastest mover out of the gate and the biggest mover out of the gate. So I'm going to be very focused. Um, I will answer questions when we're done. If you're here in a trial, I suggest you just watch because you really don't know how I call the trades, um, and you should just observe. I will watch MNST simply because this might break before PDCO. PDCO may rally first, and I want a quick trade. But PDCO might work, and just because it, it reversed that other day, it doesn't matter. It's going to give a lecture today. There's no time. If I have time tomorrow, I'll give a lecture tomorrow. I don't know my schedule tomorrow. It's, it comes and it goes. Actually, I think the fact I've been busy has helped me be focused. But yesterday, it took a toll on me. I was very tired from the previous night doing a webinar on TV on Wednesday was just, just too long of a day for me. Target on MST is 56 and PDCO I don't know yet. It depends where it backs up. Good luck. I don't care about the fact it's touching the 200. They both might work. All right. 
Wow, it's very spready though. Yeah, it's very spready. I think this is gonna work, but it is very spready. Okay, MNST. Stop is going to be 58.30. This is going to be a big stop. 74 by 30, and I think it rocks and rolls. 74 by 30, MNST. Here, take it if you want it. Just get in late. Put the stop in. It's going to roll over. I told you I like this. I get the stop in 30. 58.30 is a stop. It's going to roll over. Here, I had a feeling about this. I just did. Here. Da, 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 da. 56. 56 is the first number, although I think it breaks at 55. MNST. Bigger stop than I thought. It doesn't matter. Now it's starting to tight up. And here it goes. 56. Thank you for cooperating today. All right, here we go. I wanted a quick one. 56. 55. 55 today in MNST, but I don't know if that works out for my schedule by 10 o'clock. Let's see. Here, you had to be in it. And don't worry about the fact that you got to filter the number here. MNST. And maybe the more things I have to do, as long as I'm rested, it's okay. I, 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 here, here, MNST. Yay! You could have taken some out there. Hold on. All right, no peas today. 5601. Here, my hand is on the button if this bounces at all. Because I really missed that whatchamacallit one yesterday. Here, hold on. Let's look at the market. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Market is a crapshoot here today. Here, this worked too. This worked too. You could have done them all. All right, let's go back. PVCO went, but I didn't give the call. This is going. This is going, and did anyone, actually, this is, this is a huge stop too. Nothing was a baby stop today. This is working. This went down to the first target too, 24. Did anyone do PDCO? Okay, I'm in this and I'm waiting for one more break, which I think it gets. And PDCO worked to the over here, under 56, MNST. Here, yes. There, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out, one quick trade and done. We'll see if we can get a second setup. And PDCO worked. And if you don't want to take it out of this, you can put the stop maybe at 56.15, but I'm not sure if that holds. I still think this is lower. It's my schedule today. And also yesterday, let's look at this other one here. Here, this is working, but this was a huge stop too. And I would have never sized myself probably for this in my mind. MNST is different, more expensive, double the price. This was more than a buck. Here we go. Yes, very nice. Yay. Here, here, there it's still going. I'm out of it, but it looks amazing. Under 80, 55, 80 even. MST, don't let this get away from you. Beautiful call. I didn't tell any of you this yesterday, but Wednesday night, no, Tuesday night. Tuesday night, I got woken up in the middle of the night by a smoke alarm, and it wasn't in my apartment. Called the concierge. I said, there's a smoke alarm going off. Is there a fire in the building? I did not have a good night's sleep besides the fact that I had a long day on Tuesday. He's like, no, one of the alarms is just going off. I'm like, where are you going to turn it off? Are you sure there's not a fire in the building? It went off for an hour. The amazing thing is that I would hear an alarm in someone else's apartment. So that's the positive sign that it would wake me up out of sleep and it wasn't in my apartment. Here, PDCO. If it sets up, I'll call it for anybody that wants it. If you did it, you did it on your own. PDT, PTLA. Not 100% in this one. Walmart is dropping like a brick. Did anybody keep the option of Walmart? And I'm not saying that you had to or did or should have. The one that I originally called is filling up a planet. It broke 90. Is anybody still in this? 87 bucks, Walmart. Is anyone still in the option on Walmart that I called? It is good. 
Out of both, good day. Thank you, Gypsy. What did this crap one do here? I can do a lot, but I have to have sleep. And if I don't, and it has to be a good sleep. Can't be a crap sleep. Uh, this, oh, look at that. And this was good for a quick one later. Did anyone do this? I sent out the email. Didn't pull it around in the day, but this helped with something. Um, better than nothing then. And then the funny thing was I went over and I looked at Disney and was like, oh, crap. Could have done the Disney. Um, no, this isn't lower today. Disney was insane yesterday. Totally forgot about it, saw it later. I could have done Disney. Forgot about it. We should have a rolling list, but I don't have time to make it, so I don't have one. Here, MNST is still going. Anyone still in it? Again, I got out of it because I have to be on TV today and close the room early, but this is a great trade. 55, I told you, here it is. It's going right now. This even would have worked out with my schedule. Look, 5560. Awesome call. Is that, I hope somebody's getting this whole thing. Is anyone still in this? La, la, la. Anyone still in the MNST? Here it is. It's a, I can't believe this is a 55 right now. Well, I didn't want to be a pig today, and I wasn't a pig today, so I did what I said I was going to do and kept the plan. In fact, let's just look at this exactly to determine. I mean, this could even, looks like it's going to be going to break 55. Hilarious. Is anyone still in this? Is anyone still in? MNST has dropped another buck. Almost. And it looks like it's going to get there. Even early. Qualimer's still in it. Oh, my. I could have done this again. But I'm not sure I would have. Again, happy for the cooperation today and everything amazing. Let's look at HTZ. Qualimer is out. Let's look at what's out for today, tonight. There was a lot of data this morning, but I don't know if there was or is at 10. Hold on. Today's Thursday, right? Yeah. All right, let's look. Now, we do have some things at 10. 10, 10, 10, 30. All right. HTZ completely reversed yesterday. I didn't see this. Wow, look at that. <laughs> AOBC is out tonight. <laughs> oh my God, I'm laughing my butt off. JWN is out tonight. It's all about the focus people. Um, and that's all I see that's interesting. Do, 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 do. This worked, went there, I liked it. Best trader, it went to 55, did anyone get it all the way down? I'm not sure why you were concerned about the 200 pair moving average. Some of you need to retake the class. Um, did anyone do anything else? Anyone, anyone at all? I actually could have done that twice, but this is trying to go again. Oh, you're welcome, Madge. This is trying to go. Did anyone do the first trade in this, which you would have had to take it on your own? I didn't call the exact entry. PDCO, I did like it. See, don't get hung up. Uh, Devon said, ah, oh, I don't like this one because of this one. Don't worry about it. Rate every gap on its own accord. This rated well enough to do today. I know this didn't work here. Don't let that set you off. Amnesia. Gypsy did PDCO. I'm not going to call this here uh, Koala Bear because I just think everyone should stop for the day. And this setup isn't ideal. It looks like it's trying to set up, but it's kind of like 50-50. 
I'm very surprised about the size of the stop here, though. I would have never, never figured that. And Walmart's falling off a planet. What's the symbol for Delta? Somebody tell me, because i got to talk about it today. Dow. That's right. What about the NRA? No more NRA discounts. Well, let's see. Let's just look at the stock. The stock looks okay. What else is going on with Enterprise Rent-A-Car? Is there something else with that? What's the symbol for that? I think I have to talk about that too. Is this all gun control stuff? Probably. All these airlines are in uptrends. What's the symbol for uh, Enterprise? The market. Somebody write that in the room, please. Help me out. Uh, market's falling. And what are the areas that we got to watch? Let's write them down. And I'm going to have to buy a laptop because a good one. I have one, but it's not a good one to have charts on to be away because I don't. I can't see everything on my phone. That's a chart, only the price. So 264.30. That's the area here. That's really needs to hold and we're a long way away from that here um, 158 158 and it will not be good for the market if we break these areas 245 which are far away now but as you know selling happens very quick and let's just look at these. If the market does fall red, this is probably going to set up again. This is setting up. If you want to do this, I'm going to call a trade in this now. You can short PDCO if you want. Put the stop at 24.90. Don't be tight with it. It's a big stop. This looks like it's going to try to roll over again, and its stop is far away, and it looks much better now than it did five minutes ago when Koala Berry asked me about it. It's going to go. You got the market with you. There it goes. You can take that if you want it. This is falling, and I don't know where we hold now because the problem is that if the Qs start rolling over and we drop all the way down, let's look at everything that's important. Apple's green. I don't know if I'm calling any options trades anytime soon. If you're in Walmart, you roll with it. Oh, pal's talking again today. Here, let's find out what time. I just got an alert. Well, that makes perfect sense now. The market's not just falling, it's scared of him talking. <sighs> Apple isn't green, it's red. Well, that was weird. Okay, Apple though is still near the highs. 180.61, 177, we're not that far off the highs here. Let's look at Amazon. When is he talking? I can't find the time. Does anyone know? Is it 10? Or is it around lunch? Or is he talking right now? Because the way the market's acting, it looks like he's speaking now. 10 a.m. All right. Ew. Be out of everything by 10 then, people, because I don't know. And definitely don't be in any long. CRM I liked, but what did it do? Had one shoot up and then dropped. And I don't want to call this long because market doesn't look great here right now. Uh, what's the symbol for enterprise, please? There's some, there's some company, there's some company asked me to talk about it. If it's not enterprise, what's, what's one of the other car companies? There's some car company that I have to talk about today.
other car rental companies. <laughs> What's the symbol for rent a car? <laughs> I am going to laugh so bad. I'm crying. What's the symbol for rent a car? <laughs> Avis? No, Avis, there's no symbol for that. There must be some, some symbol for a car company that I need to investigate, but I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> I need to find out. <laughs> is anyone in anything? This is setting up again. Oh, Hertz, we went over that yesterday, yeah. All right, if you want to do this, you can, but it's going to be a big stop. You could do 59 by 65, 59 by 65, MNST if you want another play. I won't be aggressive jumping back into this here, but shorts are in vogue today. And I'm very happy about what I did in this, and I did like it. And this just popped up. And this was the best one. Stop in this if you want to do it. 55, 60, I think you wait to the five minute, but it looks like it's trying to go right now if you want to take a little bit. Enterprise is privately held. Car is Avis's, that's right. I need some ticker symbols in the market that are car companies. So Hertz, car, is there any others? I got the airlines. All right, I think I'm caught up. All right, so let's take a quick look at the market. Market I still think holds today, but again, I forgot that power was talking. Either way, Qs have a farther way to go down in here today, and the problem is if that starts to get going, and we have this area here, which we're closer to in the Dow than any, either, uh, any of the other ones, um, then I don't know what happens because I feel like we should not get through the Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day was a big buying day for the market in a very weird area that could have fallen and didn't and got bought, and I think that's important. In fact, that is the only area that's important. People are looking at this 200 period moving average. That's really not important. If we break this, we're going to go down here, and if we go down here, I think we break it. So I'd rather us hold this area. We're not near it. It's far away in every chart. But the point is, though, that, as you know, selling comes in very quickly. And if the Qs drop down, this will start to get going. This will start to get going. And we did everything right today. Here, here, this triggered. If you wanted to redo this, you could. If I didn't have to leave and go somewhere today, I would have probably held this a little bit more. Don't think it would have held it down to 55, but I might have held it for another 25, 30, 50 cents um, before that bounce. But it just set up again. And I'd say for those of you that were there yesterday, maximize your days when things are running red. DTG. DTG, I don't know what that is. It didn't come up. I have no idea what that is. I got car, I got Hertz, I got the airlines. And I got Walmart because they sell guns too. Oh, DKS. That was the other one. Hold on. Any questions about anything at all today? Everyone should be up. Everyone should make money. If you did either one of the two top picks I had, you were good. If you did the call I gave them the MST, you're good. First one, second one, everything looks great. Um, I think we have a strong close of the week. You know, I, you know, it's one of these things, I don't know, maybe next time I'm tired, like yesterday, I just have gyro run the room and close it down. I thought about taking off today, but I rested last night and I said, you know what, I just, I just need rest. I need rest. I need a good sleep. If I get that, I can be fine, even with all the things I'm doing, but without it, it's hard. And there will be times probably where I, I can't run the room and neither can gyro because he, he's in Korea right now. He's on vacation. It was hard for him. When he did it the other day, he wasn't himself. He told me it was midnight. So I think he just didn't didn't want to 
do it yesterday because of the fact that he was tired too. Um, and he missed a good trade here today, but it's just very late there. DTG didn't come up anything, so I don't know, Madge. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Very important to have amnesia when you have a day where things don't go right. And just be honest with yourself. Was it the stock or did you make a mistake? Were you tired? Were you sick? Do you need a break? I think I do need a vacation, but I'm not going to get it anytime soon here. Does anyone want to go over anything whatsoever at all? I did look at car. Yes, I looked at this. These things do not look as good as the airlines, but um, I mean, they're, they're holding. They're not holding great, but they're trying. Are you back in MNST, Koala Bear? I didn't think anybody was. Are you back in this? I didn't think anybody did it. Nobody wrote anything in the room. If you just shorted that five minute there and had to pop up, you would have been stopped. I still like it lower, but I, like I said, I really didn't want to do anything else. And if you did, you just got stopped out. I didn't think anyone did it. No one wrote anything. It still, it still looks like it's going to go. Dubods did it. If you did it, you could do it again in the 15 minute because I still think it goes, but it just had a big pop. Looks like it just had a pop here and it slammed down right through this. Look at that. I don't think anyone did it. Nobody wrote. I think you got to wait for the five minute to, to trigger again or the 15 minute. But I must tell you that this looks very sloppy now considering it just ran up and then broke again. I still like it lower. I especially like it lower if, you know, the Fed chairman talks and the market starts to fall. But anytime he's talking, stocks could be very, very whippy, which is why I said maybe don't do anything because of the fact that they could whip around. I mean, CRM looks like a good long, but you know, I don't think anyone should, should do anything over the time that he's speaking. And actually, look, this did work. I could have called a trade in that. We could have done it. I had time. I saw this right here before it just lifted again. And now look at it. It's selling off. Expect volatility during the time he talks, and I would be flat and not in any trades. It's worse than almost fed minutes, him talking. This, we could have done. I saw it. We had time. And now look at it. I wouldn't do any other trades. You made money this morning in one or two things. I think you should be happy. I said today, no piggies, no piggy targets, and this worked to 55. I think if you're really going to do something else today, then you wait till he's done talking. And he's not going to talk all day. 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour. Wait till this afternoon. What do you want to go over? Let's uh, regroup here. Tomorrow's the room. I don't know what we get. Monday is the wealth class. For those of you that are signed up for the room for the year that are paying, paid members of the room, you get the wealth class free. Email me if you want to do it or if you want to retake or if you've never done it. If you want to sign up for it, you can email me. Um, and we don't have any really options going on right now. Unless you're still in this, which I don't think anyone is. And Netflix, let's take a look at it. It was the only other one. I've been to Butter one time, Gypsy. I thought it was overrated. <laughs> That's my, it was like a huge, massive thing to go there and get reservations. I went there one time with a girlfriend was visiting. She was like wanting to go there so bad. I thought it was, it was just, I thought it was overrated. Personally, I like restaurants that have a view. 
or atmosphere. That's very well known. Downtown, I, I, I didn't think the food was spectacular. It's not my favorite restaurant in the city. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't go back. But I went, yeah, like a long time ago. This actually still looks good. Well, there you have it. 297.36, it still looks good. I think it's overrated. There's so many good restaurants in New York. You can get sucked into places that are popular that aren't that good. And they're all expensive, so. I have to call that person back. Listen, how's everybody doing? Is everybody good? I think I'm going to let everybody go today because I'm not doing anything else. I gave you my take on these stocks today. If you want to do them, I'd wait till after Powell's done talking. In reference to the market, I don't know what it does. I really don't know what it does today because of the fact that it's falling, and I didn't expect that. But again, he's talking, and it could fall harder with him talking. I don't think it rallies with him talking. So we either hold with him talking or we drop some more. He's scaring everybody with the interest rates. Either way, as long as we hold Valentine's Day low, Market looks okay to flip around, which could happen any day. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen Monday. But if we go down there and break it, we'll go all the way down to the 200 per moving average. And if we do that, I don't think we bounce there. I think we break that tail. And we'll still be in an uptrend, but it will scare a lot of people. Koala Bear, I think, yes, you're a paid member. Email me, please. And everybody else, have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow morning. We did everything right today. We were perfect. And for those of you that got this down to 55, congratulations. All right, have a good day.